Hey everyone, today we're at Happy Days Customs in Denver, North Carolina. We're here with the owner, Fonzie, and we're going to talk about relocating the accelerator pedal in a Cadillac CTSV or a Cadillac CTS. Fonzie's got some experience with a couple of the cup teams. He was once a driver comfort specialist. Is, Correct. Was that the term? Yes. And uh, he's come up with a great solution for moving the pedal uh, in the same plane with brake pedal and the clutch pedal for a lot easier heel toe shifting. Fonzie, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got into business? Well, that started in this, um, my dad had a repair shop and I, of course, mechanic in my whole life. Um, one thing led to another when you're a mechanic and you like fast cars and then you start building your own. Yeah. And after a while I got into stock car racing and of course being not rich, you fabricate and you have to make your own pieces. Yeah. Well, here locally you're, you're known as a great fabricator and a great machinist and uh, we came to you originally to see if you could move the accelerator pedal in one of our midlife uh, motorheads cars and you did a really good job for us. Why don't you explain to us uh, a little bit about the kit? Just push the pedal right at the right angle. Okay. Um, uh, we've had it tested and long distance driving and the leg doesn't get tired, it sits in the right place, you're still comfortable, but for the heel and toe thing, it's it's dead on, it, it works pretty good. Right, and we'll show you that in a second. So. What, what is the kit actually? It's, it's this plate, and what's this plate made of? This plate's made out of 3 8 aluminum, and uh, it's machined, and um, all the holes are in the right place to just to relocate it, and um, it, it seems very simple, but there was a lot of thinking going into it to yeah. make it do that, so. And what else comes with the kit? The kit comes with the bracket and all the hardware that needs that it needs to be relocated to be put. That'd be this? In the right, yeah. Okay. Um, bolts and spacers and and everything so that it's it fits uh, don't need to go buy anything uh, everything it's included in it this is the the challenge that we have in trying to do heel toe in the Cadillac CTS or, or the Cadillac CTS V the how far back is that pedal Fonzie? It, it looks about two and a half inches so it's two and a half inches back and what we want to do is we want to raise the accelerator pedal uh, not fully into the same plane as the brake and clutch pedal that might make it a little bit more uncomfortable to drive the car but we're going to move it back how many inches inch and three quarters about an inch and three quarters and that allows someone you know with a, an average size foot to be able to dive into the brake pedal and blip the throttle at the same time so the first thing we do here is we take this um, bottom cover off um, four screws hold it in place and that's the first step there is a light that it's attached to this cover so when bringing it down be careful not to damage it, it's fragile thin wires. Take a small screwdriver and disconnect it and now we can remove the whole piece. Next step, remove the assembly from the firewall. Once we have the three screws, the nuts actually taken off, we bring it off of the studs on the firewall, and there is a the connector which has a safety gadget in it so that it doesn't become unplugged. You don't want that happening. It is a gas pedal, you don't ever want to run out of gas pedal. Remove that, 
<laughs> Press the tab. Pull it away, and there it is. We have removed the electronics from the stock bracket, and there's two holes that need to be drilled for the new adapter plate and the bracket to all fit and the gas pedal to all fit together. Um, we're gonna put the bracket onto the factory bracket so we can mark where the holes go. Those are marked. Now we can drill a bracket. So here we are. We have the bracket semi bolted to the stock bracket and now we're going to make sure that everything fits uh, sometimes due to manufacturing tolerances holes might be a little bit off um, if that's the case just take your um, quarter inch bit or 1764 just a uh, smidge bigger and run it through make sure everything lights up um, so that everything works like it's supposed to make it easy when you're bolting it under the under the dash um, so we take the, once it's in there, bolt tape and bolt the gas pedal to the bracket because there's just not enough room to bolt the whole assembly while it's in there um, so that it, it makes it easy. Uh, the harness fits so close to the brake pedal bracket that there's no way of attaching the whole thing together. Um, at the same time, um, the other two bolts that come in the kit to bolt the bracket to the original bracket and it makes it bulletproof as far as just it's bolted with quarter inch bolts all the way around. Um, the original bracket bolts to the steel bracket with the aluminum bracket in between. Um, it moves the pedal back again inch and three quarters and the width of the aluminum bracket which is uh, three eighths of an inch thick. So. It moves it just a little bit to the side, closer to the brake pedal. Haven't had any complaints about that. Um, while in there, let's not forget, there's gonna be three spacers to keep it off of, off of the aluminum bracket. There's a dealio there that is just that much. So we put the spacers there so it doesn't bottom out. It doesn't hurt anything at all and makes it work beautifully. So here we are. Where the bolt its bracket back onto the firewall without the gas pedal mounted to it, there's just no room to do all that at the same time. Three 10 millimeter nuts. Hope you haven't lost your 10 millimeter socket. Everybody seems to lose their 10 millimeter sockets. Here's a trick I learned a long time ago. Um, sometimes when you have whole things in place and you just can't get there from here, um, put the piece of masking tape to hold the spacers in place so that they would just stay. Sometimes we just don't have enough hands for all this that needs to happen or the room. So that helps them stay in place and uh, just makes it easy all around. So here we go. Try attempt and put this up there and um, before we try and get the pedal up there, I recommend plugging it in. It makes it a lot easier to plug it in now than it is to plug it in later. Um, the wire is just not long enough. And it is tight quarters. There we go, it's in. So we hold the bolt in place and we sneak it all the way up there 
get it situated. Here's another trick. Uh, that third bolt is way high up there. I have big huge hands up. It doesn't work out. What I do is I take a piece of tape, hold the socket, I mean the nut on the wrench and that gives me an extension to be able to sneak it up there. Um, I've been doing this for a long time and this really helps in a lot of cases. So here we have the uh, bottom cover that needs to be clearance for because of course the pedal assembly came back a little bit so we just have to make a little room roughly two and a half inches back by three and a half inches wide I got it marked with tape give you a better visual on what needs to be cut here we have the piece we cut the little square out of it that makes room for the gas pedal assembly and uh, we just gotta go install it okay so here we go don't forget to plug the light back in and slide this piece in the groove where it goes up front we'll put the screws back in it and we'll be all done here we are after the installation and you can tell just how much farther back the gas pedal is from where it used to be uh, that should aid in the uh, heel toe operation and uh, so it took a little over an hour for Fonzie to install the CTS CTSV pedal relocation bracket it's really going to aid in that heel toe shifting we'll be doing on a track here soon Fonzie how did someone get a hold of you to, to buy one of these bracket kits from you uh, message me at, uh, on Facebook Fonzie Alfonso um, and um, send me a message we'll set you right up